day, everybody. It is Killaxon here with Freerin Episode 8 Reaction and Review. I'm just gonna get into it and then we'll talk in the intro. Three, two, one, press and play. All right. So where we left off was that guy whose name I didn't quite catch, but like the underling of the demon wants to come kill Freerin, I guess, right? So that is what I remember. Yep, it is this guy. It looks like Drat. I'm assuming that that's not, that's not what it is. Yes, I think we did see this scene. I really like the music here. Like how the music is ramping up a little bit. Like you can feel the tension. Mmm, see? Okay, we'll talk about that too. Mm. Oh no! What? No, she had to have noticed. There's no way. I like this, though. Like, kind of the puppeteer vibes. I think I talked about that last week. Oh. Okay, I like this. This is cool. But she's not human. She's an elf. Yeah, can't she just clock him, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Yeah, exactly! Like, she doesn't need to cut the wire! That's so badass! Oh my god! I can't believe that they just... <laughs> they just cut this man's arm off! I was not emotionally... Oh my god, did they just say bitch? Oh my goodness! Okay, so this took a little bit of a turn. Okay, well, I mean, like, I can't really feel bad. I always like, wait, let's talk about this. Like, we know better than that now. I'm not gonna get myself, I'm not gonna get myself, I'm not gonna let myself get gaslit a second week in the row. A second week in the row. What is wrong with me? <gasps> a second week in a row. Oh, dear. Oh no! But will it look like that she did it? Uh, but the demon is there, and he's probably not supposed to be, so I think we're okay. Okay, sorry. A couple things. First of all, this is a commission. I mentioned this in the other reactions, but if you guys didn't know... Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? If you guys did not know, uh, you can check out my Kofi commissions and commission me to react to whatever you want, uh, but something like this, it was for, I think up to episode 12 of the anime? I have to double check, but anyway, it was for like a batch of reactions to Free Rin, and that's really the only way I can post on this channel anymore, so if you're interested, please check that out. Also, my throat does hurt a little bit, but like, my throat hurts, but my spirit is high. Does that make sense? You know, I mentioned this, but I think I think I mentioned this. I was recording for the other channel today, so I decided to hop on and watch this episode because we were left on a cliffhanger and I couldn't take it anymore. So that's probably why I am uh, swallowing some of my words. It's a bit hard for me to uh, articulate, like, the diction. The diction is, is uh, losing. But anyway... I guess just before, oh gosh, I think I just swallowed a piece of ice. This is so bad. I feel bad for the commissioner. I will be better after the intro, I promise. Okay, so uh, the only thing I wanted to talk about is I do think that there's going to be some sort of shooter drop. I'm not going to let myself get gaslit again. However, what I'm thinking about is kind of like... What I was thinking about was, are we the bad guys, right? But I don't think that they're going to do that anymore. I think it's going to be, like, some sort of connection between the elves and the demons. And it's, like, free written. We're the same. Like, that's the shoe that's going to drop. You know? Not like, oh, the demons were good all along, because that's what I was thinking about. But not even though they were good, but just that they were, like, you know, misunderstood or something. I'm playing a lot of games like that, where it's, like, the shadow creatures are really humans that turned into demons, so, you know. Oh, damn! Okay. That is true. I like how they're showing the people in their lives to reinforce, like, the direness of the situation, too, you know?
like this place feels lived in and you can care about it. Especially last episode too, because we saw him talking to the ice cream guy. Like there's a whole thing, right? Yeah. See, he doesn't give a fuck about you guys. You guys are not a threat. Yeah. Okay, Stark is smart too. Okay. Oh, baby. I really like his personality. It's very refreshing for like a male anime character. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay. Yeah, like right on the crotch. I'm like, is that, was that intentional for some reason? Like I was like, is that going to be a ploy later or no? I don't know. Oh, well, I guess that's his fatal flaw or like what he struggles with, right? Is like his cowardice. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you just rubbed it all over your crotch, bro. She does not want it back. I don't know how to tell you this. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So, so now they know that he's dead. Okay. I'm glad that they're not stupid. You know what I mean? Like, they came to the, to the logical conclusion. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless that that was part of, like, the plan to, like, let that guy die. I mean, he did say, like, oh, Drat is reckless or something, so maybe it was part of the plan. I don't know. Oh, uh, what if he's already talked to Freerin? That would be, oh, uh, no. I wonder, is this, like, a 40 chess thing? Like, what if... Free Rin already talked to him, and so this is just a trap. Okay. What do you mean? But if you went in there, you would have seen the body. No, wait, but the body disappeared because they're demons. Never mind. Okay, so I guess he just went into the void. So see, they could think that it's Free Rin because the body of the demon disappeared, so there's no proof, which is fucked. Because I thought, oh, but they would see the demon beheaded there and he's not supposed to be there, but now he's just gone. So, oh. Oh. Okay, so he's not dumb. He knows. She wouldn't carelessly just kill him. Like the guard, she wouldn't carelessly just do that. Oh, shit. Are they, like... I don't know. Like, this is kind of giving, like, vampire? Oh, shit! What the fuck is happening? Bloodbending? This is crazy! Oh, my God. Also, everyone is just getting beheaded. Like, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. Oh. Well. I expected nothing less from you. I don't know what to say about that. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, no. <sighs> but, like, he shouldn't have trusted him, though. So I can't, like... Oh! What? Oh! She's just standing there. She's just sitting there. Why? Oh, man. That's a crazy shot just to see her sitting there doing nothing. What the fuck? This took a, oh my god, this took a turn. Oh, that's funny. They immediately recognized her. It 
wasn't gonna be we walked past each other but didn't recognize each other thing. Oh dear. Yeah, see, he disappeared. Right, right, right. So there's no proof that the demon tried to kill her. Yeah, it's not, it's not looking good. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Bad. Oh no. I mean, okay, but no, oh, look at his face, oh my god, this is interesting though, because this is what I tried to say about Freerin last week, but I was having trouble articulating it like maybe this is reverse psychology but I feel like it's not that Freerun doesn't have empathy for the town but she does sometimes operate in an empathy deficit you know what I mean I can't tell though if she's just like if she just said this like as a reverse psychology thing or if she's serious and would just leave because it's an inconvenience she'll save people if it's helpful but I don't know if she'll save people uh, if it's not helpful and right now it would still constitute as helpful because it's teaching stark and fern a lesson right i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking her character i guess or maybe i i'm not to say it's malicious right i don't think that she's it's a, a malicious lack of empathy i just think it's like well yeah why would i stay here it's easy to just leave you know She's not, like, chaotic good, I guess. She's, like, good if she passes by you. Oh, hello. Okay. That, is that the demon girl that sits on the throne? She is very short. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. See? So, but this is what I'm saying, right? She's not so different from that guy. What makes Freerin different from the demon guy? Because he was like, I'm glad now that there's violence, I'm having fun. That's kind of the same expression that she had. So I'm getting a little sus. I feel like there has to be something going on here. Like the elf demon connection. I don't know. Hello, you two. Good job, Stark. She can just fly, but like, you know, good effort. I appreciate it anyway. <laughs> oh man, guys, I'm having so much fun with this episode. I'm so glad I decided to do this today. I love their little, like, I don't know. I, I guess they're not technically doing bad, but it's almost like a heist, right? It's like a Robin Hood sort of heist, like the breaking and entering. I don't know. I just love that. I love that vibe for them. I love it when good characters do kind of, uh, kind of bad things, you know, that feel like criminal heist, but not. Okay, meanwhile. Okay, sure. See, now I'm wondering about him talking, because if talking is only to be a weapon, like, why is he monologuing now when he has what he wants? Like, is this the genuine talking? Okay, so they all have a signature spell, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I like the contrast of that to Freerin, who obviously collects a lot of different spells. Uh oh. Oh, I love that that's like a remnant of her master then. No. See, 
her master seems like the type to do good just to do good. But I don't think Freerin would have, like, looked at that plant, you know, a second glance. That's kind of what I mean about her character. Oh. I love her. I love Fla Flamme. Oh, okay. Well. See, now this man's just talking, so I'm like... Oh, that's really smart. That's true. That makes sense. He should just die with the secret, bro. He's gonna die anyway. He should... You know what I mean? Like, he got stabbed, like, in the abdomen. I know there's magic, and so someone could probably heal him or whatever, but, like, I would just bleed out and die. I don't know. Okay, well, goodbye. But yeah, why give it, why give it up to them? He'll probably kill you anyway. Okay. Yeah, see, that's why he shouldn't tell them. They're gonna find out one way or another. Don't let it be you, bro. Oh, hello. Okay, maybe they can help him. Please. This is not the time to be afraid. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, because he controls the barrier then. Oh. <laughs> that's what does it. It must be that.
what she has. Bro, we're not talking to you. Okay, why? <laughs> why are you telling him this? Yeah, just kill him! Okay, she has lightning or something? Oh my god, I love how they're just letting them talk about this! I guess... I guess he's kind of incapacitated, though, and then she only follows orders and he didn't give one, so... Yeah. I was like, why is he just letting them go? But this makes sense to me. Okay. Oh, interesting. Damn. Freerin must have beef, bro. Like to go through all that trouble. Oh my God. That's hilarious, though. That's so funny to me. Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah! See? That's what I was saying! I'm so- Oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> oh man! Okay, I love this! Oh my god! He didn't realize all this time? Oh my god, that's hilarious! Oh, hello! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's where Free Written went! Oh, Free Written went to see the girl on the throne while Stark and the other one- Oh, no! While Stark and the other one! While Stark and Fern! Oh, no! Oh my god, but this was so good! This was such a good episode! Oh my god, I'm glad that my brain snapped in properly after the intro. Holy shit. Oh god. Okay, we've taken, like, a turn here, which I find really interesting. Like, I'm not, like, that kind of person who needs everything to be, like, gritty and dark and, like, whatever, right? But I do find it compelling in this case just because we've gone on like these little adventures like oh let's go kill the ghost in the woods and all of that stuff but like this is getting very real i don't know it's interesting because i would say that the show was always real like we've always had that theme but because of the circumstances that the characters were in that theme was conveyed through like the mundanity of life in a sense but now what we're actually seeing is like the other side, like when life gets tragic, I guess you could say, and violent, like it gets violent. So do you guys understand what I'm saying? It's that I, I wouldn't have expected the show to get this way, but now in hindsight, that makes perfect sense because what are they depicting other than like the two different sides of life? Like this, you know, Freerin being able to walk around and, and replant extinct flowers and then, uh, you know, in the same sort of breath, it's also these moments, too, where there's, like, war and bloodshed and all of that stuff. So I think that that makes a lot of sense to me in hindsight. But yeah, I really liked this episode. I really, I'm glad that I picked up on a lot of the, the foreshadowing elements. I really liked, hold on, it's trying to autoplay to the next one. I really liked Stark's characterization here. I mean, I like Ferns, too, but Stark is obviously the new character, and so that's the one where I'm kind of focused on the most, if that makes sense. But yeah, just what a great episode. Definitely one of those ones where you should rewatch it. Like, I feel like, because I feel like that a lot of this information is important. I still feel like, though, that there is going to be a shoe that is going to drop, you know? I don't think it's going to be like the demons are just humans, blah, blah, blah. Like, I already talked about that. I think it's definitely like, I've, I've never been more certain that it's some sort of elf demon connection because what they did this episode is that they had the guy. I can't even remember their names. I'm not catching them very well in terms of like the kind of, I don't know, like they're kind of spelt in a weird way. I did not catch it, but like the demon lord man, uh, you know, the, the long haired guy. I, I, 
What was I about to say? Oh my god, I just forgot. That's so embarrassing. I just forgot as I was saying it. What am I saying? Oh, right. He's like, this is more fun because I can do violence. And like, that's not exactly what Freerun said. But isn't it like a little bit? Like, isn't that kind of what she said? Like, the smile that she had on her face directly parallels the smile that he had on his face, I think. It could be contrast. Like, it could have been, you know, Freerun wants, like, this and, like, has a desire for this thing, whereas he has, like, more of a bloodlust. Like, it could have been that she's not actually after a bloodlust. Like, she's after more of vengeance, which is different than bloodlust. Like, it could have been to create contrast, but I don't think that there's a contrast, at least not yet. I think it was supposed to create a similarity that Free Rin is more like them than they want to admit. I don't know. I don't know if, like, I just misread Free Rin's social cues or if she was actually willing to abandon the town or if that was, like, reverse psychology. I'm leaning more towards the reverse psychology thing, but I still think that what I said about Free Rin in terms of her general empathy is probably true. Like, it's not like she doesn't care about people. And I really want to stress that because some people may think I'm like, you know, character assassination, whatever. Like, I personally am assassinating her character. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to say that she's malicious in, in that way. But I do think that there's still like a nugget of truth in that idea that maybe Free Rin always thinks of the most logical answer first before she thinks of like what would be the goodest thing to do. And so I feel like that that's going to be a point later on. It's like, well, you're mad at the demons because you're saying that the demons just use pretty words and like all of that stuff as a weapon that they can't be reasoned with, but like you can't be reasoned with either. We are one in the same. You don't really care about people that much either. Like, you're no different from us. And I feel like that that's not true. Like, obviously, that would be something a villain says to make the hero doubt themselves. I feel like that that's not entirely true, but it's, like, a little true. Like, it's kind of true enough that Freerun may have doubt, right? Because if you think about what the conflict of the show is, at least to me, it's that Freerun didn't tell the people that she cared about that she cared about them while they were alive. Like, kind of cowless, cowless, cowlessly, 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 that doesn't sound right, cow, cowlessly, like, bad, like, mean, meanly, cowlessly, meanly, callously, 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 she kind of left Hamel and the others behind, knowing that they would grow old. Like, she went on her own adventure after that, and by the time she came back, he was old and, like, literally on his deathbed, right? Like, he died a couple days later, Hamel. So I don't think that, again, it's a malicious lack of, of empathy, if you want to call it that, but I think that Free Rin doesn't necessarily, like, she didn't think that through, you know, because she doesn't want to get attached to people because it's easier not to. And so I think that that's going to thing, that's going to be the thing with the demons and the elves is that they're going to highlight that the elves also have sort of this um, empathy deficit. Like, I think in the other episode, Free Rin says, we're not really interested in reproducing. And so our species is dying out and we're also not like family people, right? And so you kind of get the implication from that, that the demon, the demons, that the elves are like, because the reproduction thing, it's whatever. Like, we don't really have the instincts to reproduce. Like, that's a whatever. But, like, the idea that, like, even found family or, like, you know, it's not like there's a bunch of elves who... Okay, this is so weird. Okay. Hold on. So in Shrek the Musical, they explain that when the ogres are seven years old, their parents, like, send them away into the world because I guess they're ready, right? But, like, that's a convention of, like, ogre society, I guess, and that's supposed to be, like, Shrek's parents did not just kick him out on the street. Like, they still loved him. It was just a, a thing, right? But it's not like all of the ogres got together and, like, make their own compound, like, when they're kicked out or something. It's not like they make their own, like, little frat ogre house or whatever, you know what I mean? And so I don't know why I thought of that, but I'm thinking about that in relation, you guys had no idea where that was going, did you? I'm thinking about that in relation to Free Rin, because if they were still social creatures or social people, you would think that characters, I guess other elves, right, would seek found family in each other, like in all the other children that were abandoned, you would get together and make your own like orphanage, house, whatever you want to call it, right? And so I think that there's something that speaks to a lack of care when you had that line about like also our families just kind of abandoned us or whatever like that means that Freerin that line implicated to me that Freerin was abandoned by her parents and we just haven't talked about it yet because obviously she was somehow born which means she had to have had parents but like if they don't have family inclinations then like 
Ooh, right? And like, how do you know what a family is if you've never had one? Ooh, right? And so when Freerun is like, oh, well, the demons are heartless and they just use words as manipulation and they don't actually care about people. I think it's going to be like Uno reverse card. What about you, bitch? Because the elves aren't that different. It kind of seems like, except the elves aren't going around killing people. That's the difference. But I think that a villain may say that at some point. So I can't remember what I was talking about anymore. <laughs> like, in terms of, like, where did this start? I remember what I just said, but I'm like, how did this train of thought start? I don't know. I really enjoyed this episode. I found it so compelling. I feel like that, like, if you were kind of, like shaky on the show like I wasn't like like I said the only reason why I stopped reacting to it was like why I stopped reacting to it was an issue like in my personal life like you know what I mean like I can't I can't really do this anymore to the same extent that I was able to um you know in previous months and I already explained that like that's why the commission is facilitating me being able to watch the show um but I feel like that if you were kind of hesitant this would definitely pull you in because it's like we've had the idealized life, if you want to call it that, or just like the regular life, right? Because I would too like to go and pick flowers and, you know, do whatever they were doing. Like, you know, the, the low stakes, but still compelling adventures. Like that's kind of what we all want. Whereas this is a disruption of that status quo and immediately puts us into this place of like a lot of violence. I didn't expect the arms to get cut off. I didn't expect that much blood. Like, I don't know why, but in my head, free ridden was just like, not like that, you know? And so I was very surprised at the level that they went to in terms of like showing the violence like even just the blood I don't know because a lot of anime like you may have a limb cut off but you don't see the bleeding right like this had there was bleeding everywhere so yeah I'm not turned off by that or anything like that doesn't bother me but I was very surprised Again, in hindsight, makes perfect sense. But I think that's where I'm going to keep it here today. I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch another episode tomorrow. But if you want to see these early, you can check out the Patreon. Hopefully they're there. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Again, thank you to the commissioner for facilitating this. If you guys want to, you guys can check out uh, Kofi, uh, Co Coffee, you know, the website, the money website. And then you guys uh, can also get your own commission uh, if you would like of an anime or a game or whatever. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.